Hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog where today the progression of the flat continues. We've done most of the clearing out in the last vlog and today we have got a few objectives to achieve. The first one is getting some electric back in place because there is no electric right now. So it's a case of waiting for the power to come back on and uh, we should see this thing light up. The second one and arguably probably the most important is to kind of go through and clean everything and get rid of the dust because the surfaces are just like matted in it. It's, it's really bad. Whilst I am working through in the kitchen and predominantly the lounge jess is going to be working in the bedroom to try and clear out and organize this the best she can because this wardrobe has got to go when she's organized things a little bit more and i can start moving things around we're going to put the bed right in the corner over there we're going to move the desk from there into that corner and in a few weeks when we get our ikea delivery we're going to have a unit that goes from the ground all the way up to the ceiling that's basically going to segment the room however it doesn't come today so we just need to organize this step three of today's plan is to basically hoover all of the carpets and clear as much space as possible and potentially get some kind of rug doctor that it's going to clean the floor because there are literally stains everywhere i don't think it's going to get rid of this because this i'm pretty sure this is makeup and i don't think that's coming out anytime soon but at least we'll know that the carpet is clean and free of as much dust as possible once we have cleaned the majority of this mess i can start taking things out of the boxes and putting them back into the cupboards because right now everything is literally empty there is nothing in here what's up oh. There's some vases in there. But I have bought the essentials in the, the speaker for music. I've got lots of microfiber cloths to get rid of as much dust as possible and the all-purpose multi-cleaner thingy-majiggy. So buckle in because I think there's going to be quite a lot of, uh, of montages and time lapses in today's vlog. Uh, we do have a special guest arriving a little bit later, so uh, stay tuned for that. But for now, let's grab the tripod and with the electric back on, let's jump into a time lapse. days i've been doing this for i think about two hours now and apart from stuff drying on the surfaces currently everything from the middle part upwards has been cleaned and all my days i need to sit down for a minute because i've not eaten anything it is now coming up to half past two uh, and i'm starting to feel a little bit shaky from like constantly like scrubbing the surfaces and stuff like that I need to get on with the bottom half of the kitchen, but I honestly didn't realize it was gonna take me this long just to do the kitchen. Jess has begun taking things out of this cupboard, so it's basically empty and ready to move. I need to take the socket off there because I've currently extended the socket from there to there so, so it was usable. And we're thinking now that it's a little difficult to organize the stuff in this room without somewhere to put it. So what I'm thinking instead is we take all the things that are here and then move them into Benjamin's room for now because this is the clearest room we've got. And that way for the time being, we can actually use Benjamin's room as kind of like a storage room to store the things that are obviously going to be keeping. And then we can start organizing and, and kind of sifting through how we're going to do the bedroom. That way I can move the bed here. I can put the desk in that corner and I can move that unit out of the room. And then when the repairman comes, he's got access to the window so he can go clean that and fix the mold issue. Meanwhile, my plan in here is obviously to clean clean the bottom half of the kitchen. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking the stuff off my desk, cleaning it and placing it in the kitchen again as like a storage area. That way I can get access to the boxes that are back there that have currently got all of the kitchenware in them. I can empty them, put them into the cupboards in there and then use the boxes that I gain from emptying them that, to put Jess's stuff in. This is starting to hurt my brain. <laughs> but it basically means that I could put all of the loose stuff in boxes for storage. Right, that is step one complete. I have moved most of the stuff on top of Benjamin's drawers. So we have gained a lot more room to actually bring things in. And thanks to HelloFresh, we have a couple of cardboard boxes we can use in the meantime. All right, I am starving and McDonald's is here to save the day. Mm. So good. With the food demolished, I think it is time to jump back into another time lapse and do the bottom half of this kitchen. Okay, I have made some good progression in the kitchen and we are slowly getting back to a bit more like of a homely space. Now, you have to excuse this, this is the oven. I'm currently soaking in this like HG hardcore like oven cleaner stuff, trying to clean through all of the oven things that go in there. But things have been cleaned, things are starting to go back into cupboards and we're getting a bit more 
organized and we've only done one room. And it is literally now coming up to four o'clock. I did not think when we started this project, I know I said this earlier, but I did not think that coming back and just cleaning would take as long as it has done. It's taken me, you know, three and a half, four hours just to do the kitchen, let alone all the other stuff around the flat. Speaking of which, Jess has made some good progress with, uh, with moving stuff into Benjamin's room, as you can start to see some of our crafting things in here now. However, I think we've done enough for one day and we are running out of time. We need to get back home so we can have dinner and basically get Benjamin ready for bed and, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna fast forward to tomorrow where we're going to be continuing uh, moving all of that stuff. All right, it has now been about two weeks since the last clip. And as I just said, I did plan on doing all of this today. And I still plan on doing all of this today because I've just spent the last probably 20 minutes, half an hour, basically explaining that I'm not very well. And I'm not, I, I, I do have like a flu and my body aches like crazy. Uh, Jess isn't very well, she's got to go to hospital, have some bloods taken, and Benjamin's got a cold as well. However, after rambling on for the last half an hour, I have quite literally just decided to be like, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Like, I, don't, I don't feel great, and I talked about maybe I should take a rest and take a day off vlogging and stuff like that, because this isn't actually the vlog I planned on posting today. I actually just went up to Preston to see my uncle for his 50th birthday, and it was an absolutely lovely time. And whilst I was up there, I was gonna do like another thing as well. I was gonna do like a 20,000 subscriber celebration video. Uh, but unfortunately, I woke up ill and I didn't have, I, I just I gen genuinely couldn't go out and film that day. So instead, we are going to finish off what I started. And you're gonna have to bear with me because I do not feel very well, but uh, I'm a man on a mission and I am determined to get this stuff done. Here's a big thumbs down to my very annoying work ethic. But right, my mission for today is to basically get everything off my desk uh, and de-dustified de because it is very dusty. Gross. So in an effort to kind of keep the kitchen clean, I think I'm going to take all of this stuff and use the lounge space here to de-dust it, which will then give me access to the boxes behind it that I'm going to get the kitchenware out of to put back in the kitchen and then get the stuff out of there so I can use it in Jess's room. I feel like I've already had this mental breakdown in this vlog already. I don't know. It's been a couple of weeks. Bear with me. And I've also just realized I don't have my tripod and my GoPros and stuff like that, so there won't be any time lapses. Just good old fashioned B-roll of me trying to move things whilst ill. Oh, you fucking upset me. I am instantly regretting my decision. This is a lot heavier than it looks. All right, let's take this stuff out of it. And I'm thinking we just lay this down. Here. Oh my God, why is it making scratch noises? Lay that down there. Now we can clean it. And I'm actually thinking now, I've probably got enough room to relay the other ones down at the same time. Mm. Maybe, maybe not. We'll, uh, we'll do two for now. God, it's a good job I've got so many of these cloths, isn't it? I have to say that dusting things whilst having a cold, probably not a good idea. But I'm already feeling better for it. And I've also just decided that even though I'm waiting for the guy to come and fix the mould, which was meant to be like a week ago, but he called in sick. This is where those shells go, as you can kind of tell by the groove on the floor. And it's not actually that bad. So I'm thinking if I just get some like nice hot soapy water and just give it a clean, uh, I can probably put the shelving unit back up today. And look at this, it even says to subscribe and like. All this dust cannot be good for my health. But with three clean shelving units, I now have access to all of the boxes with the kitchen stuff in them. And I've just noticed in the bottom of there, there is a washing up bowl that I can fill with hot soapy water so I can clear off the windows. Well, I've made some progression. I now have an empty box for all of Jess's things. And speaking of which, she has just come off with a care package and brought me some lem sip in my flask as well as my filming stuff. So not only have we gained my tripod that I can now use, but she's also brought the drill and stuff. So I can put that up. And despite her being ill, she has just taken Benjamin off to a birthday party for Benjamin because it's Benjamin's like best friend's birthday today. So we don't stop in this household. Illness or not, we make the effort. And oh my God, this lem sip is so good. I have needed this for like the last couple of hours. I look like shit. <laughs> mm. So good. All right, where were we? Let's get this thing filled up and the window cleaned. One quick wash later. It is time to draw the blinds forever and get these shelves put back over there. So let's roll the time lapse. Alrighty, we have got it back in place. I am now remembering how like DIY 
my whole like desk setup was back in the flat. And although I miss my big ass desk and my shelves to put my things on, having an office to, to do my work, it's so nice and I'm, I'm definitely gonna miss that. But right, we have made some progression. We have now moved out of the kitchen and we've made it as far as this line here. I've got some boxes in the kitchen for Jess to organize to see what she wants to keep, what she doesn't want to keep. I've got the shelving back up. I've cleared out my desk and I'm a bit hesitant to do anything with this space just now because that is glued to the wall. So I'm debating whether it's worth me peeling that off and then maybe cleaning up this area of the room with some new paint. I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure yet. It's hard to judge without my actual setup being here. But whilst this side is kind of looking a little bit more tidy, <laughs> This, this this side is, is, is not so much. But honestly, I don't think I can take much more sneezing. My head is killing me. And I should probably wrap this video up. And then in the next one, we can start to organize this room. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you as always. I'm sorry that you kind of got like a 50% of, of, of energetic Orion and 50% of like Orion is, is dying, but that's how things are when you're ill, I guess. You can't, you can't make it up. I'm, al I'm always ill. It's just the, the, the downsides of having a kid who goes to school and brings back a million illnesses all the time. I may very well finish this stuff off on Wednesday and get the bedrooms ready for the new IKEA furniture that is arriving this weekend. However, we're, we're going to see how things go because obviously, like I said, I'm ill. And I have a very busy week ahead of me, so I don't know how much time I'm going to have free to, to come around here and finish that off for the vlog on Wednesday. But at least we made some good progress with my desk and this area set up with the uh, the kitchen cleaned as well. But right, I think I need some rest and uh, I definitely need some food. So I'm going to disappear. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then make sure you subscribe. There is a big red button that has subscribe written on it. Hit that button, subscribe, join us on our, our, on our adventures, which... I'm going to be, honestly, I've got some really cool plans this year. I can't talk about them yet, but they're coming, trust me. And if you did enjoy this video, then please make sure you leave a thumbs up rain. I would appreciate that. But as always, guys, it's been Ryan. I love you very much, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, peace, much love. Bye-bye.